and welcome to Zero to Hero Part 11 of our Bounty Hunter playthrough. Um, I want to start off today just unlocking some items at the blacksmith, although we're not going to be using them just yet. Um, so I mentioned that when we come to do push, we're going to want some demolitionist gear, the push build being for Havoc to demolitionist. Um, and we know from Havoc that we want the we need the helm for the tracer ammo stacks and the gloves for the missile radius. So when it comes to unlocking uh, demolitionist gear, which is going to cost glory, um, we don't want to unlock the hood or gloves. We could if we've got enough glory for everything else so it's a case of choosing out of the other four uh, we want to go for the cheapest items out of those four which will be boots which are 10 glory so we'll take those um, and then it's a case of either pants which are 15 or the shoulders which are 15 if we go in on the chest that's 20 so we don't want to do that we'll We'll save that, I'm going to, not the chest, let's go with the pads, why not? So we'll get that for now. Um, and the other thing that we're going to need for push under armour belts is the molten belt. So we'll unlock that for 10 glory. Um, I don't need to unlock anything on unique trinkets. Talisman of Storms and Vial of Wind Spirit are already unlocked from the Mage playthrough, but they're cheap as well to do. Um, I think for where we are at the experience farming stage, we probably don't need the uh, Bracer of Mastery. You'll have seen that I unlock that for Mage. Um, but Bracer of Mastery has to be unlocked for each armor class. So Mage's Light Armor, 100 glory for that. Bounty Hunter Medium, so it's 100 glory for this Bracer of Mastery. And then Ma uh, Warrior is Heavy Armor, so again another 100 glory if you want to get the Bracer of Mastery for that one. And for now we won't bother with that. Um, so what I've done... This isn't quite as I want it at the moment. Um, you know that I've crafted this sort of push necklace. I've created a push ring and a slap together, slapdash sort of ring along the push lines. Now I might come back and replace those with something for experience farming depending on how this build works. Um, so I've gone up to epic so this is essentially replicating a legendary EXP farming set um, crit rating crit damage haste I think across the board um, integral dismantle same the two trinkets are crit rating crit damage fire damage uh, gloves crit rating crit damage haste uh, this was a, a free upgrade, got the haste, I actually crafted epics, crit rating, crit damage, fire damage. If I was going for experience farming set that would also be experience. Um, I've not seen any experience farming builds but to me the special ordnance belt looks quite good for experience farming stage. Heat seeker damage increased by 50% so I thought okay we'll go along and unlock that i have crafted a legendary version crit rating crit damage fire damage experience um i don't think the mol molten belt is going to be adding anything at experience farming i think that is more for bosses and, and fights that are going to take a long time and really we want in experience farming everything to be dead within a second or so so I thought let's boost heat seekers. I could be completely wrong, I don't know. Um, crit rating, crit damage, movement speed. Crit rating, crit damage, movement speed. And crit rating, crit damage, power on the two weapons. 
Of course, if you are crafting this as legendary experience farming gear, then the fourth stat is experience for all of those. Um, abilities, as they have been for quite some time, uh, do have some level 10s now. I've uh, got our rapid fire magnetic trap and heat seekers up to level 8. So I've decided to go for a bit of synergy next because we'll get a 1% attack speed boost from where we are at the moment. So three skills that aren't going to take too long to push that up to 90. Um, for now I'll stick with these basic companions. If I feel a need to add in an additional healer that will go in. Um, I've socketed for now emeralds to boost life and give me a bit of toughness. That's mere cowardice on my part since I'm not used to playing the class. I don't know how squishy I will be or how easily I get hit while I'm running around. So until I've improved my play and got a bit of practice with it, I thought a bit of toughness in there. Um, so yesterday with the blue gear and no champion levels it was a I think about a three and a half minute run of trial 80 I've not tried this new set here so let's give that a go and see what we get um, I probably should have shown you the champion levels I don't know if I did or didn't uh, let's remember that we're not on mage, I can't just run away and do everything. <laughs> there are enemies down there, good. a lot quicker than it was yesterday or last time out it was yesterday in real life and of course yeah car is dead in seconds now um, yeah that's gone okay probably could have gone faster if I've been paying more attention uh, did I show you champion point assignment so as I said replicating champion level 750 at the moment so 300 on the offense tab so nothing in power as yet uh, defense is fully maxed out 200 points in there and 250 into ability rate uh, into into utility skills <laughs> um, so in terms of stats power's low at the moment that's going to go up as we gain champion levels haste will go up uh, actually that's going to drop when I replace Robin with a healer uh, crit rating 45% chance crit damage not too bad some fire damage in there um, I've added in quite a bit of vitality. Life on hit is now from our champion points. Uh, ability rate 652, 23% cooldown with the Integralist Mantle. It pushes it up around 30%, which is perfectly adequate for what we're doing. Um, so where would we have unlocked with that run? All the way to 93. Okay, let's give it a go. We're in a cave, I'm not too bothered. <laughs> Did that. It finished off some. You come back, no, can't hit it. A 
Wrong button. <laughs> Definitely doesn't feel like I'm playing this particularly intelligently at the moment. Yeah, I need to pay attention a bit more. <laughs> Rapid fire definitely feels a bit uninspired. Run away from him there with wait for that. Launch the nukes. Launch more. Probably should have rapid fire before doing the nukes, but never mind. <laughs> We're under two minutes at ninety three. So not a complete disaster, given that we are champion level 750 in effect, it's not the worst result in the world. Um, I think back at 80 is where I'd be farming if I was doing experience farming at this stage. Dare we try 102? We'll do a 102 just to see how it goes. This isn't going to be fast by any means. I'd say I am. Let's zoom back out. Trying not to die too quickly. That was definitely a waste of a magnetic trap since I wasn't ready to do that, but... into them. So given that we've got no power in the build, I didn't see what hit me there. But it's a case of started talking and not paying attention is always going to result in some mistake from me. Done it again, wasted that. There we go. Let's just make sure we've got enough and find an area that's not going to be a total disaster for fighting the broken dragon. was active again if we had legendary talisman then we'd have better damage boosts we're in a bit of trouble here because I wasn't paying attention again and stood in a lava pit <laughs> is the same experience that you would get at 105 
Let's say it is too early to be fighting there. Um, I think if I made, or if I make some legendary ones of these, um, then we'll get better damage boosts and things going on from those. So what I'll do, I need to farm materials. Let's see if I can make some legendary trinkets. Um, and think about perhaps replicating slightly higher champion level um, but we'll be, I'll be back in a little while and welcome back um, I've decided what I'm going to do replicate champion level 1400 so we've got uh, 650 added into power and then all the others are maxed out a uh, few things in the build that have changed slightly. I have added to the hood the Slayer Enchant, which is um, under the Lesser Enchantments for Head or Helm, uh, which gives us a 50% bonus damage to Elites. I uh, haven't changed the necklace at all. The rest of this gear is the same. I have crafted Experience, Vile of the Wind Spirit, and Tasman Storms that legendary quality so we maximize our damage stats from those um, since season hit level 20 and doing those crafts did get me the extra 10 glory from war supplies I decided to unlock Bracer of Mastery now I've just taken the first skill or the first booster that it boosts anything that I'm using so explosive shot at the moment has gone in on there um, and as I was crafting I thought something good was about to drop out so I have a 76 torch now this is a push one crit rate and crit damage power haste I thought it's going to be good so let's not stick experience on that one so that's the changes at the moment build has a bit to be desired these skills all need upgrading still um, and since I'm obviously very ex inexperienced with bounty hunter playing and talking at the same time at 102 isn't going to be particularly helpful so what I think I'll do is I'll stop talking now um, stop this recording and then I'll just drop in a clip of say three four or five um, practice runs at 102 because obviously I need to practice what we're doing there. Ah, one last change. Um, I have added in a Maggie for an extra Vortex um, that has had an impact on our <coughs> hits per second at six and a quarter hits per second. Um, but beyond that, feel free to pause the video. To look at any stats that you think are interesting um, so I will drop in just some consecutive runs and um, so it's not cherry-picked um, and then that will end this episode
graduate in May. Bad guys ahead. The forest always felt like a Wrong one over here. There's nothing like the forest.
bad guys ahead. A strong one over here. Ta-da! Take down the healer! So, not the best play in the world, but uh, that's just off not long in playing Bounty Hunter. Um, so I think that will wrap up today's episode. Um, next time out, we'll look at uh, all champion points assigned and better gear and uh, sort of how I'm progressing the account uh, to move it forward or the character to move it forward um, so for now thank you very much for watching any questions or comments please feel free to put them down below and thank you very much for watching